Mansa says the vice president prefers to be referred to as Mrs. W.K. Mutale Nalumango instead of Mrs. Mutale W.K. Nalumango. He told ZMBC News in Lusaka that the development should be considered by all media organizations and corporate entities. I wish to put it on record that how honor the vice president wishes to be called Mrs. W. K. Mutale Nalumango, MP, and not Mutale W. K. Nalumango. This applies to our media, all media that is, whether print or electronic, and any other uh, uh, times that she may need to be addressed. At any moment, she is Mrs. W.K. Mutale Nalumango, Member of Parliament. I submit for your consideration. The Zambia Meteorological Department says the current high temperatures being experienced are due to an easterly hot air flow coming from a warm region. Department senior meteorologist Peggy Tolle, however, says this air flow is affecting most parts of the country, resulting in high temperatures during the day and nighttime. More in the phone report. At this time of the month, one would expect temperatures to start going down. But the opposite is the case. The sun is scorching. The advice from authorities is drink water. People are exploring various ways to keep themselves cool. Of late, temperatures have been high, with very areas exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. The meteorological department attributes the high temperatures to the easterly airflow affecting most parts of the country. This airflow is also warm. The source where it's coming from is a warm region and hence it's tending to raise the daytime temperatures and nighttime temperatures. So we've seen that most parts of the country have recorded high uh, daytime temperatures and this can be also depicted from this uh, uh, picture here which indicates the deeper red colors here which are the valley areas indicating temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. Other the Meteorological Department has since advised farmers to start preparing their fields as the situation is expected to change this week Thursday. Lucky Piri, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Former President of Sierra Leone, Ernest Bai Koroma, has described the smooth transition of power in the August 12 general election as a true sign of democracy by Zambia. Dr. Koroma, who is also head of the African Union Election Observation Mission in Zambia says the activities before and after the elections define how Zambians value their democracy. He was speaking shortly before presenting a report to Home Affairs Minister Jack Mwimbu in Osaka today. And Mr. Mwimbu thanked the African Union Election Observation Mission delegation to witness the August 12 general election. Shoot a preliminary report on the elections, which was made public. And we made a commitment at the time that uh, a final report will be presented in two months. Um, we are here to present that report to the government and the people of Zambia. The report has in it, observations that we had, uh, recommendations that we have made, and um, we believe this time around in keeping with uh, the AU's commitment to deepening democracy, good governance, peace and security. Rare in Africa to find somebody who has distinguished himself in democratic 
you, Gracious. I would like to thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, on behalf of the people of Zambia, through this ministry, I would like to convey my condolences on the demise of our 101 of our brothers and sisters who perished in Sierra Leone as a result of the tragic accident that occurred recently. We take another commercial break, but do stay tuned as we have more news coming right after that. Since its inception, Zamseed has remained a household name in Zambia and the region. With 40 years of experience in the market, Zamseed continues to provide a wide range of quality seed material, supporting over 1 million farmers in Zambia and the region. With the new investment of 2018, Zamseed transformed and positioned itself to become one of the leading and most innovative seed companies in Zambia, thereby bringing its excellence and expertise to the rest of Africa. Zamseed now has some of the highest yielding maize seed varieties suited for local and regional markets. New white, orange and yellow maize seed varieties now dominate the market. Wheat, soya, sorghum, groundnuts, sunflower and various vegetable seeds are other products being bred. Drought tolerance, disease resistance, crop stability and yield 